So welcome to the last part where we're going to kind of move to the general case of two by two matrices, right? So in particular, we're interested in saying that if A is a real two by two matrix with complex eigenvalues, what can we say that's happening in that case? And it, it turns out that in this situation, there's a very nice decomposition of our matrix. So let me explain what that decomposition is. So somebody gives you a two by two matrix with complex eigenvalue. And what we're interested in is only one of the two complex eigenvalues. Okay, they're going to come in conjugate pairs. So look at the one where it's A minus BI. So it's not the one with the positive part, but with the negative part. And it has some associated uh, complex eigenvector. Then what you can do is you can factor your matrix A as P times C times P inverse where we have that P is equal to the real part of V, and then you have the imaginary part of V. Uh, so you're taking V and you're in the first column, you're gonna put the real part of V, in the second part, you're gonna put the imaginary part of V, and C is equal to a minus B, B, A, where the A and the B are coming from the complex eigenvalue. So what you want to think about here is this is a factorization of the matrix A. And the factorization is saying somehow that inside of that A is a matrix C. But this matrix C looks exactly what we were looking at over in this part right over here. Oh, right here. So here's our matrix C. This matrix C is somehow encoding a rotation. So what we have is we have some sort of invertible matrix, which is going to correspond to kind of changing bases. This is doing a rotation, and then this is changing your basis back. Okay, so putting all the pieces together, we have the following. Let's say we have a matrix A, which looks like 1, negative 2, 1, and 3. And then lambda is equal to 2 minus i, and v, the, our complex eigenvector that goes with it, is 2 minus 1 plus i. Uh, so this is our kind of situation. We're given this information. Now I'm going to take P to be the matrix where the first column is the real part of V, and then the imaginary part of V is going to go into the second column, right? So we have 2 minus 1, 0, and 1. There's my matrix P. And we have the... This is my A minus BI. So the theorem tells me that my matrix A can be written as 2, 0, minus 1, 1, times 2 down the diagonal. Then I would have minus 1 here and 1 over here. That's coming from the A minus BI. And then multiplied by the inverse of my matrix. Okay, So we have kind of like this little diagram to kind of explain what's going on here. So here's my diagram. Let's say you have your original vector x and you're multiplying that vector by the matrix A. Okay, and this is the matrix A I'm looking at and it has complex eigenvalues. One way to think about what you're doing is you're actually taking that vector x and if you multiply it by P inverse, you get a new vector P inverse x and this result is equivalent to doing a change of coordinates. Okay, so of R2 using P as our basis. So using the columns of P as our basis. Then what you've done is you take an X and you're mapping it down to this vector over here. And then you're going to multiply it by the matrix right here so, uh, that's in the middle, 2 minus 1, 1, 2. So what's happening across this line here is then you're doing a rotation. And then you end up with this matrix right over here. So 2 minus 1, 1, 2. P 
inverse x. And then you're ending up back over here by going multiplying it again by the matrix P. So that's kind of putting it back into the original basis that you started out with. So this part right here is change the coordinate back. So use a different basis, express everything in the original basis. So that's what's happening. So the decomposition kind of shows you that how the rotation is hidden, embedded in the matrix. And you see it by, more clearly by doing a change of coordinates. Okay, so there's kind of some like deep uh, stuff going in there, but it's kind of nice and neat. So there's a lot of stuff happening in here today. The One of the key ideas you should probably take away, away from today is that when you're looking at two by two matrices with complex eigenvalues, and maybe I should put an extra word here, looking at two by two real matrices with complex eigenvalues, what's kind of happening in the background is you're getting uh, rotations showing up in terms of your matrix. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and uh, I will see you in lecture 35. Have a great day.